One of the major operations we're doing this dry dock is to replace some hull plates. They deteriorated from the inside out, so we have to cut out the old ones and put some new plates back in. These fellows are cutting the old plates out. The riveting team will be here tomorrow to put the new ones in. They take the plates up into the shop and drill the holes according to the die, and then weld the plates in place. And they'll come in with the riveting team and put the rivets in the holes. They cut the plates out little pieces at a time so that they don't hurt the vertical floors that are in the dry void underneath the boiler. This is looking up into the dry void. This is frame number 90. These are called vertical floors. These are the baffle plates that go between the two sections. That's the sounding tube. They put this plate here up. This is the cease crate. And it's bolted every now and then. They did have to put a little bit of a bend in this one. Otherwise, the other two, the A straight and the B straight, are straight. There is no bend in those. The A straight on the port side is pretty good, according to the ultrasound test back at the keel. So we did not have to take it all the way back. That saves a lot of riveting. This is the keel. The A straight sits on top of the keel. And the B straight bolts up to the A straight, and they'll put rivets in there. And then the C straight sits on top of the B straight. And that's how these are put together, overlapping. This is ready for the rivet team to come in tomorrow. They will set up, get ready, and start putting rivets in. Made it. The next part of this process is to ream these holes out well enough to get the rivets up in there. This is a drill. We actually put up in the hole with morning. These two guys are just finishing up getting the B-strake cleared out all the way from uh, inside the reserve feed tank to the forward end of the double or the uh, drive void underneath the boiler, which is where we are right now. Over on this side, Terry and his group are getting ready to start riveting. This fellow's cutting the rivets to the exact length that they want. These guys are reaming holes, getting ready. We have a couple of Kalana's officials here. Here's the forge that they will use to heat up the rivets before they throw them up and put them in. They have two holes up through the bottom that one of their workers will get up into and will back the top of the rivet as they pound it from the bottom. So here's the riveting process. The guy on the board puts the cold rivet in. When they're hot enough, pulls them out. Put them over on the platform. The second 
second guy hands it up through the hole to the third guy who's up in there who gives it to the fella over top of the hole. He pushes it down through, taps on it, and then this guy from the underneath is the one that actually locks the rivet in.